Well, we got a cool little project ahead of us that involves a little bit of dump trucking. So let's get this thing fired up so we can head out. check fluids before we fired her up we're gonna check tires and the rest of the important stuff we are actually gonna head off to the quarry this morning we got about six or seven loads of rock to haul if you guys remember the mountain road we built last uh fall going up between all those rocks and stuff that really is a really cool project we are gonna try to attempt to put some rock on that road which uh, could be interesting, but hopefully it does not end up being interesting. We're going to take off and head up to the quarry, the stories, get a load of rock, head back down there. Hopefully, me and Aaron, Aaron's going to go get the skid steer and the grader and pass it. And uh, see what happens. So. drive up to the quarry so it's gonna be hard for you guys to see anything so i'll see you up there we'll get loaded head back and see what we got Beautiful sunrise this morning. Sun's just starting to come up. We're rolling in the quarry for the first load this morning. Get down here, get scaled in. Get loaded. This all looks looks so awesome if you guys missed all these videos we were here a couple years ago built this pad for the barn and we were in here last fall 
Raised this driveway up, redid all the grade out front, redid the grade that way. But the big job we did was uh, built this road up over the hill, which is what we're gonna put rock on this morning. I'm hoping I can get this truck down beside the building here. And uh, we're basically gonna start in right here take off spreading up the hill we level this out it's where we brought a lot of dirt we'll walk up through here just make sure we don't have any big washouts or anything crazy but looks like this road is held up extremely well got a few small ruts in it but it's not bad ditch held up well over there oh check out our drainage ditch that looks absolutely awesome down through there. Absolutely awesome. If you guys missed out on these videos, you need to go check them out. It was some really cool, really cool videos. All right. I don't see anything that majorly concerns me. I think our biggest challenge may be actually getting around beside the uh, building there. That spring's still running just a little bit, but let's see what happens. Wasn't too bad, everything held up fairly well. Let me get our chains. Ow, chain set here. Probably a lot easier to do if I had two hands. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think we're going to go 18. We're going to get it a little thicker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That should do the trick. All right, change are set. Scouted the road. Let's see what happens. spread out very very 
very nicely up through there the next one's going to be really interesting is we're going to get into the uh we're going to get into the steep part of the hill up here we'll see uh see what the old puppy dog has got right through there but before we get to that we've got to go get we've got to go get in there load. i think we're going to go to the top of the hill oh yeah dude just clutch break I think we're gonna go to the top of the hill, <coughs> scout out the rest of this. did it Turn sharp enough to make a turn.
don't know if we can ask for much better of a result than that. That, uh, that went very, very, very well. After we get all this rock down, Aaron's gonna be here with the grader attached and we'll grade it all out. Make it all nice and pretty, but we're gonna call that a win for now. behind the scenes <laughs> you've got pretty good on a dozer you've got good on a skid steer with a bucket hey you put it you put me on a tractor with a greater blade behind it i'd do good uh, this uh i was gonna ask you how my spreading job was but i, I don't think it's no contest between who's spreading job it was is. the spreading job that messed me oh, up oh it was <laughs> that's what it was <laughs> i uh, uh the spread job if it would have been like a rookie, I think. Well, I the have. first the first attempt up the hill, I had a pretty good momentum, but somebody's in my way. Uh, yeah, I, it's, yeah. Then the second it attempt really scared me there. Then the second attempt up the hill, I had pretty good momentum, and I hit right, a try I hit a speed bump. Yeah, this in, in your zone, you know, just trying to figure everything out, just blocking everything out, and you hear a train horn behind <laughs> you. Uh, hey, the train was a coming, buddy. Yeah, yeah. And I was not moving near fast enough for that train. No, no, I didn't have low enough gear to I didn't have low enough gear to go your speed. So then I backed up and got another run at it, which I know makes on camera because I dropped it. But then I hit a series of speed bumps the size of New York State. They were water bars. Well, I don't know what they are, but they, they, they were about water bars. They we were about we about we lost the CV off the dash. I bounced my head off the roof. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you woke up every now and then. But I made it. You made it. I'm proud of you. I made it. So. Take my water bars out. I don't know what I did behind me. It was a. <laughs> hey, let's talk about something else. Though. Maybe we'll go top hill a little bit later. This job looks freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Did you road. see down below? 
Oh yeah. It's, yeah, a, it's man, crazy. Looks good. It is crazy, so. Yeah, I didn't wait around for you. I went ahead up and took, took, took a little sneak peek up there. Cheater. I know, but I had to. Uh, I wasn't gonna walk up there, but I did take the uh, oh, yeah. taco up there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about going all the way up there and turn around the truck. My luck, I get no. stuck now. I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, there's a pretty big hill there if you get stuck and go wrong. Hey, I made it this far spread her off with no issues. Yeah. So, all right. We're going to see if we can get this load off there. Yeah. I don't see any tree limbs that are going to be the issue. No, I think you'll be able to make it around. I didn't see anything major around the corner it should be an issue. All right, let's do it. All right, this is where I graded all the humps out of the drive that uh, he put in when he was spreading. Looked pretty good, turned out decent. Uh, he's gonna follow me on down the hill. That's the first time I ever ran that grader and I'm not a fan of it right now. But right here, I don't know what he done. I mean, it just goes up and down, up and down. And I did not do this. And then uh, right here, I fixed all his whoop de doos that he did have when he was spreading. Them ain't mine. complaining about looks pretty good if you ask me After the, took out a few of the whoop de doos for the motocross track, uh, turned out really good. <laughs> uh, we can use a little bit more rock on this hill. Though. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit. Which is ironic because I feel like I spread it pretty heavy right there. Yeah. But it was the most uneven part of the road. So. That stuff looks really good, though, don't it? Yep. Just think one more load will get everything, won't it? Be close. Uh, spread. Probably half load up on the hill and then the culvert to about that rock right there to then the rest of it up there. So, all right, yeah. we got we got a load of rock left on the lot from yeah. um, that last job. We gotta go back to Derby for a meeting. So let's go back yeah. and get that load of lot load of rock. Okay. Loaded and uh, see how far that gets us. Sounds good. All right, all right now can you run for them? They want to see you run. I can All run. right, if we get if we get over 50 comments on this video, you have to run. I run, but you race me. I ain't racing. <laughs> oh, I've done walked up and down this thing three or four times, but whenever I was hey, coming, there I is, ran the hill. There is video evidence of me walking up the see, hill. This, this is sweat. From oh running. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So whenever you're in shape like me, you don't sweat. Oh, and I did, I did run in the. Uh, taco, whenever you come after me. Not fast enough. No, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know it's got the rabbit button, right? Well, I, I was in panic mode, <laughs> and I did not see a panic mode button and didn't think about it. This the reminds me mode. back whenever I first bought the Kubota and Cleveland was helping me one day. He was tracking something from Wade's house to my house back and forth, and it was taking him forever. I said, hit the rabbit button. He said, what's that? I said, this. He goes, oh my God, it's got two speeds. <laughs> oh, shoot. Still don't know if it's a good idea to show Captain Cleveland that or not, but yeah. <laughs> we did. All right. You think your roller will make it up the hill? You know, I don't even know if that smooth drum roller will make it up that hill. It's pretty steep. It looks good, though. All right. We're heading to Derby. Hey, I'm going to ride back down with you. Oh, you don't want to walk down? No. Why didn't you bring the truck down to get me? I was videoing some stuff. Now that I think about it, that would have been the smart decision. Yeah, I mean, I could have, but it was more fun watching you walk up that hill. You want me to give you an invitation of what it was like coming up the hill? Since you don't have a suspension seat over there? No. I mean, it should be smooth after I got done with it. I showed them what I done, and I showed them what you done. Okay, so, we'll let them be the judge then. Yeah, feels pretty smooth to me. <laughs> Rolling back into headquarters. I don't know if it's a full load, but it is. That probably is a full load. Just that little bit of rock we had left over from another job. Oh yeah, that's never been of a full load. Might as well go ahead and get it loaded up to get it out of here. We don't need to have it sitting around. Yeah, but this is only half a load. This ain't a full load, so I ain't even timing you. Ooh, another half a bucket. Oh, man, that's hurting me. Oh, he's not going to. Oh, so now we're down to eighth bucket. Oh, he ain't gonna let that lay. He's going after it. There, now he's getting smart. There we go. Now he's using his head like me. All right, guys, here we go again. I'm gonna take this load all the way to the top. Well, if I can find a gear we are. Come on, there we go. Ooh, it's tight coming down that building.
coming out absolutely perfect. Perfect, I tell you. Love it. All right. Back for another load. All right, guys. We are back at the quarry. We are getting a load of fives this time for his parking area up on top. We might come back at some point and uh, get another load of 23s, yeah. But Kind of running short on time today. We may have to extend this to tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see how we get along. Guys, gotta make sure I don't forget to remove my chains before we dump this. All right, we just got back. I guess we're gonna follow Matt up the hill. He's gonna show us where these fives get dumped. It's tight coming around that building, let me tell you. I couldn't make out what you were saying. You want him over there? Yeah, sure. No, sir. <laughs> right there. Right there. One load there, one load here. So he can pull in here with his front end loader, scoop it, and transfer it right over there, where all of his attachment and stuff already are. But he may change his mind and build it over here, and then he'll transfer the rock to that side. So either way, he's got it up here. Yeah, and you're over here. I told you you could stop right here with your rock. I thought I had to stop up there. Just like the pond you thought needed to be 30 feet further. You know, away. my overachieving cost me a lot of money. I think my describing has been great, but your listening has been horrible. You said stop at the end of the flat. I said stop after the borrow pit. Where's the borrow pit? There's a borrow pit over there. Yeah, where the rock almost hit Bubba. I mean, there's an obvious rock right here, Mike Simon. Well, I don't this think, is all your fault. I don't think he's going to be bad. No, he won't. No, actually, he's already been checking the cameras because you oh, I know. set it off. I waved at him a few times. I've seen it moving. He said, looks good already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Load number one. This is to make sure you don't screw this one up since you've screwed the last two up. Look at that beautiful road. It does look amazing. And I think once you grade it, it's gonna look even better. But I still think you need some more rock right here. But I think that rock can come with this portion. So do not go any further than the edge of the rock. Okay. Square it up over to the hillside and then it's probably going up a little angle here because there's no sense of putting rock on this slope but square it all up nice and over come over and then square it up with the driveway kind of right in front of the jeep right there okay. does so that make the sense rock, to you the rock out here and push it that, way. that would make a whole lot of nonsense <laughs> somehow we made 37 minute drive in 31 minutes and here just in the nick of time to get a load of one last load for today Probably leave two loads for tomorrow. We'll buy half or so. Get her back, get her done. This will be the last load that has to go up the hill. We have made it back, and this should be the last, at least full load, that needs to go to the top of the hill. So 
Lockers engaged, let's go. purposely waited to uh, do this this time of year for a couple different reasons one want to make sure all of our ditches and culverts and everything were going to hold up which they did absolutely awesome and uh, two obviously this is a lot easier to do when it's getting dry like it is like uh, a lot less a lot less of a mess and uh, a lot easier on the poor old truck so Unfortunately, the quarry is closed, so we are done hauling rock for today. We'll be back tomorrow. We got at least two more loads to haul, one from behind the building right here, and then one kind of from beside the building on our little access road coming around the building here. So we'll get those hauled in here tomorrow, get everything graded up and cleaned up, and have this one wrapped up as well. So see you guys in the morning. I ran this old girl pretty hard yesterday. She put in a good day's work. Check all the fluids. Oil looks good. Her steering's good. Already checked the antifreeze. It was good. Well, Cleveland's handiwork down there looks good. Let's fire this thing up and hit the road. All right, did a light tire check. Everything checks out. We're out of here. A little bit later start this morning, but we only got two loads to haul. And then, uh, yeah, two loads to haul. And then we just need to get everything cleaned up. We'll have this one, this one wrapped up as well. So we are on the road. Next stop is the, there's the quarry. All right, guys, this will be our last load of number five. We'll get these done behind the building. Come back and get a load of 23s. Finish crapping off the yard. Yard, we're not capping off the yard. We're capping off the road. That should put us right at our 160 ton snow loop motor. We may be a few tons short, but. We'll adjust the bill accordingly if we are, but uh, but I think our quote's gonna be about right. We should cover all the bases we promised we we're gonna cover. So second load on here, or second skip, and we're out of here. All right, so we have made it back. I believe we're gonna try to back this one in. Let's see if we can get her back here behind the behind the building.
have not. I did not have that through very well at all. I should have uh, pulled in and backed up to the building instead of backing around, but uh, oh well, we made it work. That's all that matters. All right, guys, we are off. Back to the glory for our final load to make our 160 pounds. So let's uh, let's go get this loaded. Get it spread, get it graded. Last load, at least for this job. Uh, rather nicely made it all the way up through here just like I was hoping so look at that fancy all right let's go down we're probably gonna take the greater attachment off take the greater attachment off the uh, skid steer throw the bucket on real quick we'll get this pile here busted out Throw the greater attachment back on. Grade this out one good time. Got a little pile of rock right here, but that's all right. We could probably use it. Oh, that's a speed bump. nice get these few loose rocks that knocked off on the concrete off here we're gonna go right back around back and uh get that smoothed out
There you have it guys, that pile's all busted out nice. Gonna work this little bit in up along the garage door here. Super handy to have a broom or a shovel right now, but all we got is a size 11 boot. Should make it a lot nicer for them. Got good drainage in here. They don't have the jump up to get in and out. Got a nice rock pad back here for staging stuff on. Last thing we need to do, get the greater attachment hooked up. We're gonna hit this road one last time, blend everything together. I wanna go all the way to the top of the hill and uh, check out the road the rest of the way up, see how it held up, how it looks. And we're gonna hit the road. All right, to the top we go. I'm gonna kinda wind roll this in towards the center. We'll get a little bit of crown on the road and then we'll go down the middle one last time and buzz it off. Should have us in pretty good shape. guys if you haven't checked out the videos of building this road i highly encourage you to go back and check them out it's absolutely awesome but we went through a tremendous amount of work carving out this solid rock right here you can see all of our teeth marks and everything in there put this big water bar in up top it's catching all the water you can see where it's come down here put this water bar in here it's catching all that water getting in our pipe getting across the road and uh hasn't even hardly washed out over here at all. You can see where it's been running down, all the rocks exposed right there. Looks absolutely perfect. We may end up rocking the rest of this later, but there was so much sandstone in it, it don't really get muddy when it rains. And uh, as of right now, this is just access to the top. We'll be rocked to, we're talking about building a little lean-to shed or something to uh, kind of store their attachments and uh, everything. But check this out down here. It looks awesome as well. Our ditch along the our ditch along the rock is working perfect. Goes right out and around. Nothing has settled or uh, slid over here. This looks phenomenal. And then this ditch wraps on around and goes down and uh, catches the uh, pipe that goes underneath the road right there where our rocks stop. But like I said, this series of videos. I personally think some of the coolest stuff we've ever did on YouTube. But uh, you guys have watched them, let me know. If you haven't watched them, go back and check them out. We had the Hyundai uh, Bubba Dump and uh, the K750 Dozer up here. And uh, it turned out absolutely awesome. So we're back down here at the bottom now where all the, uh, we get all the rock at. And uh, right here is where that air pipe's at. It's still open, going underneath the road, flowing, and uh, catching the ditch and heading on down. Looks phenomenal. So, all right, I'm gonna make two more passes up and down this road, polish it off real quick, and we're out of here.
through here. Got a good turn wrist, got a good crowd on it, should drain nice. I like it. I think they'll be happy with that. Got the two piles, stock piled over there. I think they're gonna do something up in there. I ain't 100% for sure, but the rock's there for whatever they decide to do. Let's head back out, check out around the barn. Well, there she is, guys. You got good rock all the way up the hill. You got this all graded out real nice. You got our road all fixed and uh, patched back up a little bit of damage we did to it. 160 ton of stone delivered and graded. And we're gonna put an explanation point on this. Turned out rather nice. So that's gonna be a wrap on this one, guys. We're gonna start moving equipment into our uh, next big lake project. We got another Another really cool one coming up, so hope you stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this one, big old thumbs up. Definitely appreciate it. Don't cost you guys anything. Neither does subscribing, so if you want to catch us on the next one, consider doing that. It's free as well, and we appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, later. We're out of here.